Okay, today I will be reading the Reading Oxford book, 2nd edition, 3th level. It's by Nicholas Horsburgh and Claire Horsburgh. And today we'll be reading the second chapter, Majid Goes Shopping. So let me turn to the page. Okay. Majid did not like shopping. If it was a visit to his toy shop with Dad, that was fine. If it was to a book sh shop by himself, that was even better. He liked toys, he liked reading, but to go and buy clothes or bangles or shoes or food, this was all too much. One afternoon, Majid was at home reading a book, good book. The story was exciting. Majid turned the pages quickly. He could not wait to reach the end. Then he heard Mom shouting, Majid, Majid, where is that boy? Majid carried on reading, but a moment later, Mom came into his room. Majid, did you, didn't you hear me call? Asked Mom. Majid shook his head and started his arm. Come on, said Mom, we're going shopping. Shopping, said Majid. I'm not coming, I'm reading. Now, don't argue, Majid, said Mom. You can read in the car. But that makes me sick, complained Majid. We'll leave your books, said Mom. But hurry, you can't stay at home. Ma, why Ma? moaned Majid. Ma, please, Ma, I don't... Don't why, cried Mom. You just sound like an ancient woman or urchin. Majid looked cross. He closed his book, put his socks on his shoes, and was ready in minutes. But he is not happy. He stood by the car looking gloomy. Mom and Majid were on their way, were soon on their way. Mom stopped at the shoe store. Majid sat in the car, not saying a word. While Mom was in the next shop, a clothes shop, Majid grabbed a bit of food next. Mom came out of the shop and drove along the main road toward the house. Majid felt better again. Ah, we shall be home soon, he thought. As they were going, his mom suddenly drove into the park, the car park of a large supermarket. Majid looked like a black cow about to burst. Come inside with me, Majid, said Mom. I will need your help. Just my luck, grumbled Majid as he followed her inside. Mom found a trolley and Majid pushed it along. As they passed between the shelves of food, Mom picked up various things, three tins of baked beans, a box of soap powder, a carton of milk. The list was endless. Majid became bored and tired of pushing the trolley in zigzag lines. Then he had a brilliant idea. He w kept well behind Mom and looked at the things on the shelves. At last, they reached the checkout. Majid took the things out of the trolley and placed them on the counter. Mom stood at the far end of the counter, helping a girl pack, to pack the things. After a number of bags had been packed, Mom shrieked, Stop! Stop! What is all this stuff? This is not my shopping. Cat food? We don't have a cat. Red boot nail polish? We don't have red boots. Blue eyeshadow? I never wear. Suddenly, she stopped shrieking and peered at Majid. You naughty boy, Majid. She said not too loud because you were looking. What? Where have you two been, asked Dad, helping to carry the shopping. Your car was just ahead of my main room. And then, we've been shopping, replied Mama, and your son has been very naughty. You must have a word with him. When they got indoors, Dad sat down with Majid and Mom. What's all this about, Majid, asked Dad. Tell me what happened. Mom would not let me read, well, Majid. And, well, she called me an ancient woman's chin. A what? cried Mom. I never did. You did, said Majid. That's what you said, an ancient woman's chin. Is that what made you cross, she asked, shaking with laughter. What I said was that you were whining like an ancient woman or an urchin. Ha, 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 Dad laughed. What a joke, like an urchin. Majid, not her chin. An urchin is a boy on the streets. Majid stopped wailing and smiled weakly. There was no need for you to get cross, said Mom. I should be cross with you for putting those things in my trolley at supermarket. Oh, so that's where you went, said Dad, as I was saying earlier. I was following you along the main <laughs> I was following you along the main road on my way home and you suddenly vanished. Yes, replied Mom. I turned to a supermarket. Majid laughed loudly. Dad and Mom stared at him. What's so funny about that, son? asked Dad. Mom vanished. <laughs> Chuckled Majid. I whined like her chin and she turned into a supermarket. Mom and Dad and Majid laughed till they cried, and there was enough time for homework for Majid to finish his story. That's the end of the story. Okay, so tell me what the story's about. So the story is about a little boy. The story is about a little boy that does not like shopping. He likes two things. He likes reading and toys. He can go to the toy shop with his father or go to the bookshop by himself, but he hates shopping. He does not like going to get food, bangles, clothes. He hates all this stuff. But then he 
his he thinks his mother calls him something. Uh, what was it again? A woman, an old woman, or an urchin? But then he understands an old woman's chin, so he is very angry, as you guys say here, cross. He's mm-hmm. cross. So he's cross with his mother, and then when his mother is not watching him, he takes the things and puts it into the trolley or a buggy. And so when they were checking out, she found out that there were things that he didn't put, and she scolded him, not too loud because there are people in the store. So then once they got home, the father asked what was wrong with Majid, and he said that the mother had called him an old woman's chin, very unlikely. Uh, and the woman was saying, the mother was saying that, I have not called you this, I called you an old woman or a urchin, which means a boy on the street. So then after a while they started laughing and then the dad said that he, the mother vanished and then they all started laughing and that's what the story is about. Good job. Thank you, Bianca. Bye. Nice big sister.